Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday and a happy Father's Day to all of our fathers out there. We are so thankful for you and for your families, and we are so glad you have tuned in to worship with us this morning. So let's go ahead and start with our first worship song. Okay, good job. Now let's listen to our elementary song. Oh 
guys did such a good job. I'm so proud of every single one of you. It was so nice to see some of you guys come out on Wednesday. It was so fun to worship with you guys. We're going to do another one of those events in the future. So be on the lookout, Mom and Dad, for that. Um, we are just so excited. We got to see all you guys. Uh, I know I speak for Mr. Jason and Miss Lita and all of our volunteers that we were just so, so excited that we got to see you guys. So before I hop off, we are going to practice our memory verse because this is the last week we're going to have this memory verse. So we are going to say our memory verse. It's John 3, 16. Very good. For God so loved the world in this way that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. John. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Jason with our lesson. Bye-bye. Hello, it is so good to be with you this morning. I'm glad I get to share this message with you. It's a really, really good lesson. So I hope you enjoy it. But before we get into the lesson, let's review what we learned last week. If you remember in our story last week, Jesus had a visitor come to him at night that wanted to know more about him and about how to get to heaven. And Jesus explained to him that he had to be born again in order to be able to go to heaven. And this confused him so much. So Jesus explained and explained to him that you have to put your trust in God and your heart has to belong to God in order to be able to be saved. And the verse that we've been learning this last few weeks expresses that exact same thought. If you remember our verse, it goes, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Well, our story today is along those same lines. Jesus is going to meet somebody else and explain to them about how to have eternal life. Now, in our story today, Jesus and his disciples had been teaching and, and working and, and doing miracles in the land of Judea. And they were on their way from Judea back to Galilee. And as they were on their way from Judea to Galilee, there's an area of land in between those two places called Samaria. And you need to know that the Jews and the Samaritans did not get along. In fact, they did not like each other at all. In fact, the Jews normally, if they had to go from Judea to Galilee, they would go all the way around in a big arc so they didn't have to go through Samaria. That way, they wouldn't have to talk to anybody from Samaria, they wouldn't have to look at anybody from Samaria, and they could get away from all of them because they didn't like those Samaritan people. But Jesus is different. Jesus decided, we're gonna go through Samaria. So they went down the road going through Samaria, and before long, they came to a town. And this town had a well. Well, Jesus wanted to go to the well, and he sent the disciples on into the town to find some food. So Jesus went to the well to find a place to sit. And he sat at the well and waited. And soon a woman came along. And the woman came to the well, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. The woman was surprised. Why are you talking to me, she asked. You're a Jew, and I'm a Samaritan. Jesus said, I ask you for a drink. You don't know who I am, but if you did, you would have asked me for a drink, and I would give you living water. The woman was confused, and she said, Sir, this well is deep, and you don't have a bucket. Where do you get this living water? Jesus said to her, Anyone who drinks of this well will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks from the well 
of the water that I give will never be thirsty again. In fact, the water I give will become a well inside you, and you will have eternal life. Jesus was talking about the Holy Spirit, but the woman did not understand. Sir, she said, give me this water. If I'm not thirsty, I won't have to keep coming to the well. Go and get your husband, Jesus said. I don't have a husband, the woman replied. Jesus knew that she was telling the truth. But he said to her, you don't have a husband now, but you've had five husbands. Jesus was right. I see that you're a prophet, the woman said. Maybe this prophet could explain something to her. She said to him, The Samaritans worship here on the mountains, but the Jews say that we need to worship in the temple in Jerusalem. Jesus said, Soon you will not need either of those places to worship God in spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know the Messiah is coming, and when he comes, he will explain everything to us. Jesus said to her, I am the Messiah. Now, after the woman left, what do you think she did? She went back to her home and started telling people about Jesus. She told everybody in town that she could find about this man who knew everything about her. And he offered her eternal life. And she told all the people and they wanted to hear all about it. And they wanted to hear from Jesus himself. So Jesus ended up staying in the town for two whole days. And while he was there, he taught everyone in the town. And many of the people began to believe and they followed Jesus and they loved him. See, Jesus is for everyone. Not just for the people that we like and the people that we want to hang around with. Jesus was for those Samaritans that the Jews didn't like. Jesus is for every single person, every man, every woman, every child. Jesus is what is important for us. If Jesus were around today, we know that he would be exactly like he was back in Bible times. He would welcome everyone. He would welcome the Samaritans. He would welcome those from different races from his. He would shake them by the hand. He would welcome children. He would welcome everyone that he could possibly find, no matter where they were from and what their background was. Jesus loves everyone. And that's what we need to do too. There are people around us that are very different from us but we need to get to know them and we need to share the love of Jesus with them. All the people around us need to know who Jesus is. So why don't we help find those people and welcome them like Jesus? So let's be like Jesus. Let's show his love to everyone around us. There may be people in your life that you don't like very much or that don't like you. But you know what? God wants us to share his love with them. He wants us to tell them about Jesus and how Jesus came to the earth as a little baby and grew up to be a strong man who gave himself for us, who died on the cross to save us from our sins. So let's all find people in our lives that we can tell all about Jesus. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for blessing us with your son, sending him to this earth to live and die as a sacrifice for us. Your love is so great that we can't even comprehend it. But God, Help us to be an example and a, an, a, a light to those around us, showing that love of yours. Help us, God, to be able to teach other people about Jesus. Help us, God, to love everyone around us. We love you, God, so much. 
And we ask you to help us throughout our days and throughout our nights to always follow you. In your son's name we pray. Amen. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye. Happy Father's Day. Have a great day, dads.